Shelley Hoffberg is a clairvoyant, medium, pet psychic, and tarot reader. She does not ask for the details about your life, but primarily relies on her gift of clairvoyance to receive the psychic insights that will be the most helpful to you about your soulmate, relationships, money concerns, and your career path. As a pet psychic, she will receive insights about what your pet or pets wants you to know. As a medium, she will connect with your loved ones on the other side. Shelley Hoffberg is the host of the Psychic Horizon Radio Show, produced by Goldilocks Productions and presented on Blog Talk Radio, Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Shelley brings together the pioneers and visionary teachers to share with you some of the most enlightening knowledge that is out there today to expand your horizons and open the path to higher consciousness. Welcome to the Psychic Horizon Show. I'm your host, Psychic Shelley Hoffberg. And today's special guest is uh, Psychic Numerologist Jeremy Ryden. Um, before I bring on Jeremy Wyden, I'd just like to make um, some uh, quick announcements that I'm going to be at the Spiritual Living Expo uh, at the and uh, and Burbank um, at the um, near the Burbank at the uh, Burbank uh, Airport Marriott Hotel from 10 a.m. Uh, to 6 p.m. Uh, doing psychic readings, and I'll be at Bota B O T I Vision. I uh, know Boda Studios. Sorry about that. Boda Studios in Anaheim, California, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. doing psychic readings, and I'll be at the Universal Mind Church and uh, Long Beach. Um, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. doing psychic readings. Um, if you want further information, uh, call me at 818-744-5241 or go to my website, psychichorizon.com, for information about the psychic fair and expo. I'm now ready to bring on Jeremy. Hello, Jeremy. Hello, Shelley. Hello, everyone. Welcome to spring. I'm excited about it being a new season. And uh, Jeremy, can you tell the callers about yourself? Well, my name is Jeremy Ryden, and I'm a soul coach. They call me the Minister of Manifestation. And what I'm all about is helping people create lives that they love living. So we really want to help everyone calling in today that have questions about your life on how you can tap into your greatness, reach your highest potential, find joy, peace, and love by removing all the hurt and pain that may be blocking you in your subconscious mind. So we deal with deep topics, but at the end of it is joy, laughter, happiness, and a lot, a lot lighter feeling that you know spirit is on your side. And Jeremy, why do you say there are six senses and not just five? Well, everyone, today's topic that we're going to be talking about with Shelly is how to receive more messages from the spirit world. So if you're out there and you're wanting to know, is there a, a higher connection besides what I just see with my eyes and hear with my ears and feel with my hands? Is there a, another realm, a spiritual realm, that I can connect to for guidance and direction? And as a soul coach, I want to say that absolutely – there is more than meets the eye, not only in the spirit realm, but even your own mind, even your own subconscious mind, the things that you're not even aware about that are in your thought process. There's all kinds of unseen things that are affecting you every day. But what we want to do in today's show is to help you learn how to connect to your higher mind, how to connect to your intuition and to the spirit realm to get guidance and abundance. So with Shelly's question, why do I believe there's more than five senses? Because I believe that if you get quiet enough and still enough, that you will have a little inner voice that I call the sixth sense, 
and many other people call your intuition. It's that gut feeling. It's that, you know, before the phone rings, you know it's your mother calling. Or it's the something saying, hey, you need to uh, uh, fill out this form, and, and it opens up a great new job for you, even though you weren't planning on applying for it. It's that gut instinct, is, and that inner still small voice that's trying to guide you, connect to you. It's looking out for you. It's trying to get you to make the right decisions that are going to give you the life that you love to live. So I believe with all my experience and the thousands of testimonials that I see on this planet that everybody has, you know, that sixth sense, which we will call in today's show, your intuition. And we want to help you connect to your intuition so you're making decisions that are in line with your highest good and that your soul wants you to take. Because if you do what your soul wants, you're ultimately going to be more happy than just doing what you think you should do. Awesome. And, Jeremy, let's take our first caller, which is area code 940. Hello, 940. Hi, this is Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. And Tammy how can we help you, Thank Tammy? Well, I was just wanting some insight on if there's anything blocking me for getting off to work again, you know, the jobs to come in. Well, what is your birthday, Tammy? Because I am a numerologist, and we'll do a little of that as Shelly gets into her psychic um, abilities. Seven twenty sixty-three. And you're currently how old? Fifty-five. Fifty-five. And you're wanting to know when you work is going to start picking up for you again, or get a new career? No, I just when it's going to pick up again. Okay. All right, Shelly, see what you can do with Tammy, and I'll take a look at her chart. Um, I feel that you're going to get a, a job through a temp agency. It's a temp to perm. They start you off as a temp, and then uh, within three or four months, um, you can apply for the job, and the job would be um, – a permanent position, so it's from ten, it's a temp to perm, so it's, they only have to start off as temp, but then you uh, would interview with them uh, for a permanent position. Um, it looks like it's a um, office job, and that it may be like at a hospital or a rehabilitation center an outpatient rehabilitation center, or a psychiatrist's office. So it looks like it's, it's something you haven't done before. Um, I feel you have experience of office, but you have not worked in, in either, of, either of those environments before. And so I feel you're going to be doing office, but it's going to be in one of those types of work environments that you're going to be getting the job. Um, it feels like that is coming up. Uh, towards the end of April, uh, any time between the end of April and mid-May that you're going to be, you know, finding the finding this position. And it is through, and they are, and the company is going through uh, a temp agency because they do want a permanent a, employer and they want to get someone who's qualified for the job. So that's what I see that's coming up for you. Um, the job is, doesn't look like it's that far from where you live. It looks like it's in the, the job is located uh, maybe uh, one or two towns west of you where you're living. And, Jeremy, what do you pick up for Tammy? Well, Tammy, the, the chart's really good. When I say everyone have charts, I'm looking at astrology. It shows that this year is actually going to become very stable in your work. Your work's going to become very uh, – you're not going to have to worry about it. You're going to find security and stability this uh, soon, and even more security and stability in your love life and the home and family next year. Do you have any pets? Yes, one. Like, you, is it a dog? Yes. Okay, the reason why I ask is when you called, I saw the, the symbol of a dog around you. And the reason why this is important, people are asking, well, what's this have to do with her work? Well, looking at your chart, uh, it shows that 
part of your challenge this year, part of your opportunity this year is to really feel your emotions, to really handle your emotions, not to allow your emotions uh, to get the best of you or to allow your mind to begin to run away with negative thoughts. And so as you begin to allow yourself to feel your emotions but not to make emotional decisions based on just your fears, you will see that your faith is going to begin to grow. So this year is about you having faith, and it's about you taking these negative, fearful thoughts and embracing them in a way that doesn't allow them to dominate you. The reason I bring the dog in is because I want you to begin to love on that animal. Anytime you get stressful about your work or stressful about a situation in the home, just talk to your dog. Just talk to him. Just hold him. Just uh, pet him and take a second to take a deep breath. And his loving energy is also going to calm your nerves in your mind. See, what people don't understand, work, relationships, health, it's all energy. And so if you're blocked in one area of life, it'll affect another area. What do I mean, Tammy? If you're blocking your emotions, it can block your finances. If you're blocking your finances, it can affect your relationships. So we want to get our emotions as honest, but also as uh, not dominating us. We want, to con- we want to channel. Now, a lot of people can't control their emotions, and when they try to stuff it down, it explodes. But if you can channel your emotions into healthier ways of feeling self-love, that will bring about the faith that will open the doors of opportunity in your career and everyone else. So thank you so much for calling. Overall, you're going to be okay with finances. These next two years become very stable and secure. Love on that animal. Feel that love. And watch that the whole universe has got your back. Hey, Shelly, how can Tammy or anyone else that has career questions get a hold of you? Um, 818-744-5200. Five two four one, or go to my website psychichorizon dot dot com. And Jeremy, how can Tammy get a hold of you? Tammy and everyone else out there, you're going to get a once in a lifetime opportunity. I am giving away ten minutes of free clarity call. And the way to get this is you go to my website divine spark ministries dot com. And you will see a soul coaching button that allows you to set up a time to get your free clarity call, whether it's about love, romance, or any other issues. That's DivineSparkMinistries.com. And everyone can look me up on Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff. Thank you for calling, Tammy. Keep listening, and you'll hear more good stuff. Thank you, Tammy. Mm -hmm. I'm now going to start my interview with Jeremy Wyden, and then we're going to take our next caller, which is area code five five uh, eight five six. Um, you wrote a book to help people receive more in, intuitive message, messages um, from their soul, called the Quest Method: Your Intuitive Destiny Guide. Can you describe what this book is and how it works? Hey everyone, I do believe that your intuition can unlock the questions that you have. So should I date this person? Should I take that job? Should I go to this gym? Whatever the questions you have, your soul has the impulses and the guidance to lead you. Now what happens is a lot of people are paranoia. They listen to their fear, their worry, their doubts, and it confuses them from being able to listen to their soul. That's why there's a lot of intuitive uh, practices out there that you can do to help kind of clear your mind from all the different voices that you got going on. And one of the practices is a system that I created called the Quest Method System. It's a, the, probably one of the most easiest divination tools ever created. Not to toot my own horn, but it came from spirit. After years and years of doing numerology, which says that the numbers you see every day are actual messages from the universe about the energy you're around, uh, and, and everything is energy, remember. So if we can understand the energy of a question, we can understand the answer. And so what I did with this book is I took my numerology years of experience on what the numbers mean, and I combined it in a system of intuition. So the way it works is if you have a question, you would take a deep breath, ask that question out loud, 
and then immediately, by your intuition, pick three numbers. Those three numbers would tell you exactly what the answer is to your question, but it would also tell you how you're holding yourself back from doing that. And then the third thing it would tell you is how to release all the negative holdbacks so you can do what the answer says. And it's very simple. It may sound complicated, but it's very simple. I may demonstrate today on a caller. If you like a free demonstration, call in on the number, press 1, and we'll do a free demonstration with you on the Quest Method. You can get this book at Amazon.com, Barnes & Nobles, any of the online retailers has it. And uh, just look at it for it under my name, Jeremy Ryden, R-I-D-E-N. And uh, I'm looking forward to a lot of people. A lot of people are having fun. It's a lot of fun. And people say, well, why do I need the book? Well, the numbers, the pattern of the numbers are important. And so what I do is all my years of training is I give you the thousands and thousands of numbers in a very short way how to decipher it. So you can look at the book and exactly see, you know, whatever number you pick, what it means and so that's pretty cool i do all the hard work for you all you got to do is turn a page back to you shelly um um uh all right um you have um, a caller call. yes let's take our next caller eight five six hello hello hi. caller hi how are you i'm fine how are you Doing great. And where's your name? Hi, where's Maria? Maria. Hi, Maria. And Maria, um, what is your question today, Maria? Uh, for looking to start a new business with a partner or anything you can pick up, or a relationship, whatever. I'm using going. If that's going to start up, I did an offer with someone, and they didn't respond yet. Uh, you said you're. I'm not sure what you're asking. You said you're starting a new business, right? With a partner, and they haven't responded yet. And what is the partner's name? Uh, Ralph. What? Ralph. Rest. Ralph. Oh, Ralph. And what do you right. pick up, Jeremy? With uh, Maria starting a business with Ralph. Okay, so there's the question is, Maria, you want to know what's going on with you and Ralph? You're trying to start this business, but it hasn't got it started yet is what you're saying? Right. We have a different business that we started up yet. Okay. Let's just see what's going on around that business between the two of you. Real quickly, take a deep breath and say out loud, what is going on with my business with Ralph? What is going on with my business with Ralph? It's like totally, Real quick. something totally different that I want to do. Quickly, give me three numbers, one through nine. Uh, ten, seven, and three. Okay, here's the situation. This is the quest method in action for people that are wondering about the book. So her question is, what's going on with her and Ralph in partnership? Well, remember, everything is energy. So for her to get the right thing going on with this partnership, the one is the answer. And if, uh, if you've got noise in the background, mute that phone, sweetheart, because people won't be able to hear us. Okay, great. She muted the phone, so now we can answer her question. She picked 173. The one says uh, that you need to become more independent. You don't need to just wait for Ralph to make the decisions. You need to start taking actions yourself. You need to start going out and being a little more assertive, being a little bit more aggressive, being a little bit more, um, um, you know, not waiting on him. What's causing the problem with the partnership and why it's not taking off is because you're overanalyzing. That's that seven. You're overanalyzing. You're overthinking it. When we, it's called a paralysis of action. When we overthink, it really, we're thinking we're trying to get the right answer. A lot of times the right answer is the first answer. But then we spend all these other hours trying to debate whether it's right or wrong, and then we get confused. So your situation on whether what job you should do or how you should do it, you're just overthinking it, sweetheart. You just need to take action. The three says that you need to communicate your truth. You need to tell your feelings. So some of the reasons why you're overthinking this thing with Ralph is you're maybe subconsciously not being totally honest about 
of what you want to do, how you want to operate. You may have some reservations about what your role in this company is or what he's going to do. So you need to start communicating more. Start speaking your truth. Tell him what you think. Tell your friends what you think. The more that you can express yourself, the more it will help you hear your own thoughts. You know why there's a lot uh, that talk therapy, everyone out there is so powerful. It's because most of the time as a, you know, I'm a therapist and most of the time, all I need to do is to listen and let someone talk. <clears throat> and in their talking, they answer their own problem. They just needed to hear their question out loud. They just needed to talk through the confusion of their mind. So this three is telling us you need to start talking more to other people, communicating more, sharing your thoughts. And as you talk out loud, you'll get more clear about what you need to do. And when you get clear, don't second guess it. Take immediate action. Thank you so much for calling. Shelly, do you have anything to add? Uh, Maria, I think that Rob may be, he's interested in the business, but he seems to have um, some reservations about doing the business. There's an interest there, but there's also, he's he's having reservations, and I think that's around money. You know, because, you know, to start the business, of course, you're going to need money. You know, right. uh, to get the you know for advertising, or if you have you know to you know uh, to reach clients, to have a website, you know to have marketing materials. There's a lot of costs involved in uh, setting up a business, and so he's having right. reservations about the money. So I feel that you should talk to him and tell him that you could start off small, so you don't have to put a lot of money into it right away that you could start off small, you know, um, you know, there's, there's websites on the, you don't have to pay someone to build a website for you. You could build your own website. There's a lot of internet companies that you give you the tools to build your own website. So that's going to save you a lot of money. You don't need to hire someone for the website, but you are going to need business cards, um, uh, and you are going to need some promote, you know, uh, you know, postcards or flyers are going to need some promotional materials uh, to give to um, the client, you know, the, the, the clients that you uh, approach. or something called Vista. I don't know the rest of the name. Just put Vista Printing, and they're very cheap. You know, so go to Vista Printing. So you, you need to, you know, to assure him that you could start off small and then as you get mo- as money starts coming in to the business, then you start to spend more money on on the business. But you need to t- reassure him that you're going to start small because his reservation is the money. Right. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> so yeah, there's a little, little issue with the, what we have right now too. And and if he what? talks to me or responds, yeah, there's some problems with the business that we have now. So. But the money yeah. stuff, if he answers me and talks to me, that's the problem. I do communicate with him, but he doesn't respond, if that makes sense. And I just wrote him a Did letter. You tell him that you just start off small and build the business, then I think that, you know, uh, he will uh, communicate with you. You know, call him and tell him you'd like to meet him in person over coffee and, you know, to talk about the possibility of starting the business off small, and then when money starts to come in, you could do more things with the business. Because that's his only reservation. He's interested. He's just concerned about the money. Yeah, that, and uh, he's in a different country, and I'm in one, so it's like for him to bring me back in, it's kind of hard to have coffee with him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Point. Well, you know, then, then you yeah. know, go on site. I think you need face time with each other, which is why I suggested coffee. But if he's in another country, you could always go on Skype, and you because know, Skype has video, and you could see each other face to face and talk. Right. If he help, let me help him put it on his phone. <laughs> on what? Back. Yeah, if he has it, he's uh, old school. <laughs> yeah, you he's Skype. Old, have a meeting. I think you need to have a meeting with each other and talk to him 
and reassure him that you feel that this business could be a success. But because, but but that maybe you need to start off small. I think if he if he could start off small, and he doesn't have to put a lot of money in into it right away, I think he will do the business with you. And Jeremy, how can Rosemarie get in contact with you? Hey everyone out there, you can go to DivineSparksMinistries.com and you can see all my coaching packages right on that website. Hey, thank you for calling, and you have a great day. Thanks. You too. And uh, Rose Marie, how well do you know this man? I him over 40 years. Oh, okay. Okay. Just wanted to make sure because there's a lot of scammers out there. But if you've known him for a long time, then, you know, he's legit. And you could reach me, uh, Rose Marie, if you want uh, more information um, at uh, 818-744-5241. Or go to my website, psychichorizon.com, um, and I have a special. I normally charge $30 for 45 minutes. I have a special $30 for 55 minutes. So if you need any more help, please feel free to call me, and we could give you go into more detail about the business and about Ralph. Cool. Thank you for calling, Rosemary. Thanks. Um, uh, I'm now going to continue my interview with Jeremy Bryden, um, uh, and then we're going to take our next caller, which is area code 6110. Uh, Jeremy, you also wrote another uh, powerful book called Your So Story, How to Create the Life You Always Wanted. Can you tell us some of the uh, th- main things in this book? Absolutely, Shelley. I really love this book. It was my first book I'd written, a little book, but very powerful principle. For everyone out there listening, if you feel like there's something blocking you from success, if you're not happy, you just feel discontent, maybe you don't know why, I would tell you the answer lies in healing your soul. The theme of the book is if you can heal your soul story, you can change your life story. I'm almost certain that most people in some way or another have been hurt in the growing up process. It doesn't mean that our parents were evil, but it does mean that we are evolving as a people, as a nation, as a world. So that means that our ancestors didn't have all the tools that we had about psychology and, and a healthy environment. So they passed on a lot of emotional wounds. These wounds can be trapped in your subconscious mind. For example, it may be the girl whose father was never there, so she ends up trying to win men that never pay her attention. And, and it goes back to her father wound or the, the, uh, any other type of wound. So I want to tell you out there, you can make money. You can have love. You can lose weight. But let's figure out the things that are blocking you. And in this book, it gives you, you know, seven principles that you can do every day to not only heal your soul, but empower your mind and change your life. Very simple. I call it the A-plus living. And I use these little simple tools with everyone that I coach with. So you can get that book for $15 on Amazon.com. You can get it uh, on any of the online bookstores. And uh, I'm very excited. Also, If you want an opportunity to see what maybe you're struggling with in your soul, you can get a free 10-minute call with me by going to Divine Spark Ministries and choosing the intuitive clarity call. And then we could help see maybe what is holding you back from your highest good. Back to you, Shelley. Uh, Thank you, Jeremy. Um, Let's take our uh, next caller, Jeremy, which is Erico 610. Hello, 610. Hello. And who do we have the pleasure of speaking to? This is Sonia. Hi, Sonia. And Sonia, what is your question today? Uh, My question was concerning uh, my present job, Um, and I'm quite happy where I'm at, and um, and I'm working real hard, and I'm looking to, you know, uh, move forward in this position. And I wanted to see, you know, what uh, you're picking up for me as far as, 
you know, growing, you know, promotions, expansions, things like that. Sonia, how old are you? I'm 40. And Sonia, what's the month and day of birth? Uh, 318. 318. Okay, you had a birthday a few weeks ago. Happy birthday. Thank you. All right, I'm going to turn you over to Shelly, and we will uh, talk to you in a few minutes. Shelly, what are you picking up for Sonia and promotions? Uh, Sonia, I feel that you've been on the job for a few years now, and that, um, you know, well, management. A year and a half a month, before. A month a and a half, half was your job before that no, you no, were on a, a long time? A year, a year and, a half. and a half. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm picking up the old job. I think that you may have got this job because you were on a job for a long time and you got a good reference from the old job. I do feel that, you know, that they uh, value you, you know, that you are a good employee and that you're good at your job. And I do feel uh, that your management, with your manager will be instrumental in you getting uh, a promotion. Um, I don't feel that, I feel the promotion is coming sometime between August of this year and March of next year, you are going to get a promotion, but it's just going to take time for you get to get the promotion because you're new at the company, and you know you have to uh, prove yourself. But so far, you've made a favorable impression on your manager, and when this promotion comes up, I feel your manager is going to recommend you uh, for the promotion. Because okay. I feel that in, I feel that the, that that it would be kind of a group interview. Your manager would be there, someone from Human Resources, and the yeah. owner of the company would be there. So it doesn't. It looks like when you do get interview, you're going to be interviewed by more than one person. So you are going to get an interview, Sonia. I'm not trying to discourage discourage you, but I it, I just feel that the interview is going to take some time. But I do feel that, you know, you'll get an interview. It will be a better uh, position than the position that you have, and it would mean more money. It would mean more more finances to you. Okay. Yeah. The only reason of not interviewing you now is because you're new to the company, and the people that have been there longer are the ones they're going to interview first. You know, okay. but but I do think that I do think the manager already has something in mind for you, in terms of a better job, and I feel that uh, he is going to you're going to take on more challenges and you're going to take on more responsibility with the job. Um, he's going to be getting you special projects, you know, okay. to do. You know, so he's going to be giving you projects to do. And if you do well in these projects, it'll go on your work record. And it will. And doing these projects is what's going to help you uh, to get the promotion in the future. So there's some projects coming up that you're going to be working on that he's going to assign to you. And he's assigning them to you because he knows that you could do a good job. Okay. And, Jeremy, what do you pick up for Sonia? Well, what the chart shows the move this year. So I don't know if you're planning on moving or not. I don't know if this job shows you transferring out. I don't necessarily, if the job doesn't promote you to move somewhere else, then I see a new job coming up because you have a lot of changes that are getting ready to happen, but the changes are in your favor and they're good. So um, what I would say to you is don't resist the changes that are coming your way. Be open to them because they're going to leave you in a much better place. Thank you for calling. Okay. Thank you. And, Sonia, I think that in addition to the job that you have, um, that there's going to be an opportunity um, for you to work with a woman. Um, she works for her home. And you would be hired as her assistant. So I think that you're going to have two jobs. You're going to have the job that you have now, and then you're going to have a part-time job as this woman's assistant, and that would be something really good for you also. So it look, does look like money is coming into you from more than one source. 
Um, uh, uh, thank you for calling, Sonia. We're now going to um, continue our interview with Jeremy Ryden, and then we're going to take our next caller, um, which is Carolyn, area code 818. Jeremy, why do you say there are six senses and not just five? Well, I, I did that at the beginning, Shelley. So let me throw a new question in there. Uh, one of the questions in there is what are some of the tools that people can use to, uh, you know, get more messages? Or not tools, but what are two attitudes that people need to create an environment to receive more messages from spirit? And the first thing I would say to anyone that is skeptical uh, or even hesitant on whether they could get messages from God or the universe directly to themselves is that you have to believe every mystic, every religion, every, everything out there says there has to be a faith uh, with, you know, inside yourself, some type of faith that says I can receive this. So, you know, you're saying, well, I don't know if I have that faith, Jeremy. Well, in the scriptures, it said doubting Thomas said, you know, Lord help or the person that was wanting a miracle for his son was wondering whether Jesus would do it or not. He said to Jesus, Lord, help my unbelief. So I want to believe. So if you're out there listening today and you're like, I don't truly believe, but there's a part of me that wants to believe, just say to the universe, hey, I want to believe that I can receive a message from you. I want to believe that my faith can connect to something higher. And just that prayer alone will begin to send a ripple through the universe, a connection to the divine line of your higher mind to start seeing with your own eyes, synchronicities, coincidences, uh, things lining up to answer the questions that you've been talking about privately in your heart. So the first attitude you need to have is an attitude of faith. The second attitude you need to do is really one about laying down all judgment. You know, there's a scripture in the New Testament where Jesus was walking on the water, but the disciples were scared that uh, it was uh, uh, an evil spirit, and they cried out because it said they didn't recognize Jesus. And so they were needing a miracle because they were in the storm, but they almost missed their miracle because they didn't uh, accept the way how God was trying to save them. Many times when spirit is trying to talk to us, you have to have an open mind. You've got to lay all your judgments down. You may not recognize how God wants to take care of your problem. You may not understand who God's going to use to send you a message. In the Old Testament, it said that a donkey talked to the priest. So God even used the jackass to get a message across. So even people in, your, in the supermarket or the grocery store or a crazy driver that may be even making you angry, they may actually be being used to God to send you a message. Slow down. Have more patience. Be more understanding. So you have to lay your judgments down. You have to have faith, but you also got to have an open mind. If you don't have an open mind, then you're not going to be able to uh, see all the little things that the universe is trying to get your attention with. You know, the universe speaks through symbol. So if you're not, if you're not, uh, like what I say is people always think that God's going to say literally on June 16th, you're going to do this. It can happen that way. But most times God speaks through symbolism. The whole book of Revelation is all symbols. The symbols represent different themes in your life. You know, you look at Jung and Freud. They talked about the super, they talked about the uh, uh, subconscious that your dream life, all the symbols in your dreams are your soul talking to you about what's going on in your life. So you have to have an open mind to the symbols that are appearing in your life. Are you seeing a certain animal? Because animals represent certain things. Are you seeing certain numbers repeating over and over again? Those numbers represent a certain thing. So don't be so literal. Keep an open mind that certain things you're seeing over and over again repetitively are actually a message from the universe trying to get your attention and have the faith that these symbols do have power to represent something. Have the faith that the universe is trying to send messages your way, and you'll begin to connect much faster to the other side. I think we've got Carolyn on the line. If she's still there, I'd be happy to talk with her. Hello, Carolyn. Hello. 
Hi, can you hear me? Hi. Yeah, uh, clear, hi. sweetheart. All right. You remember my uh, date of birth is 822, Jeremy. Yes, August 22nd. How old are you, Carol? I'm 69. 69. The sex life should be good this year. Go on. <laughs> okay. Well, the, question, <laughs> the question I have is financially, when will I get stable? Okay, yeah, I'll take a look at the I'll take a look at the cards for that. And uh, okay. Shelly, what do you pick up on uh, Caroline's finances? Uh, Carolyn, I keep picking you up getting a job at a healing center. I yeah, really I feel that you need to have another source of money coming in uh, besides your pension or Social Security. And um, don't worry about the bio; I can help you with it. Um, I feel you need to go on Yelp, and I feel you need to look for healing centers um, and look for something close to Carson so you don't have to drive far. And um, I feel that you could make good money in a healing center. But it's very important to read the reviews. You could also check metaphysical stores because uh, uh, metaphysical stores also hire hire he- healers to work for them. Right. And I really think that you need to do that because I really think that you could start having an income coming in that will help you to take care of some of the expenses and uh, challenges that you're facing with your expenses. Right. And and I feel I, when you do, I, I feel when you, I feel that something's coming in by the end of April or May, that you're going to get hired at a healing center or metaphysical store. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, but you didn't see uh overall thing when I'll be able to function normally. Uh, I feel as soon as you get this job, you'll be able to function normally because you're going to have a resource of money to help you. Okay. All right, thank you, uh, Shelly. And uh, Jeremy, what do you pick up for Carolyn? Well, Carolyn, here's the bottom line, sweetheart. You're going to have to take some action, some initiative, sweetheart. The thing is, okay. this is you you got you got the ability to do what Shelly says. You can use your intuition to really nurture people. Like so, when Shelly says doing the healing stuff, what kind of things did you have in mind that you would want to do to help people? Uh, talk to them, counsel them, uh, guide them, um, you know, listen to them, that kind of stuff. And, uh, so like and a light coach, go ahead. Yeah, something like a light, a light, light coach because I'm doing it naturally. Do you do, doing it naturally? Are you doing any, like, uh, uh, so the light coaching part, do you do any astrology, numerology, or just all just kind of psychology? No, no, I don't know about the numerology. and I'm interested in all that, but um, – no, I'm just talking to people, just uh, just on a daily basis. You know, whenever I talk to somebody, okay. I so know that the they get this. Okay. You, yeah, you gotta. You're, you're able to listen to people and nurture them in a way that they can get information that em, em, empowers them. That's what a counselor does, and right. you're good at that. Here's the situation: we've been going on for a few years. I'm gonna hit you hard. You have okay. this, but you gotta take the initiative, sweetheart. You got okay. to, you know what? There's like Shelly says, there's free websites out there. You can get on Facebook right now and start doing a little uh, uh, presentations. So what okay. your struggle is right now is your struggle is marketing. Your struggle is networking. If you can have Shelly help you with the networking, you definitely will add more money. There will be people that will become your clients. If you have questions about what to charge, if you've got questions about uh, how to package things, then feel free to, you know, talk to Shelly or other people that are in that profession. You can still reach out to me. Everyone out there that's listening, a lot of people that listen to these shows, you have these healing abilities. You have these abilities to be creative, musical, artistic. You've got something to give to this world but you don't know how to market it. You don't know how to present it. You don't know how to get the clients. This is a real uh, struggle for a lot of us that are entering into what I call the spiritual business, the holistic uh, uh, business, but I can help you. So for those that have questions on how to start their holistic business or their spiritual business, 
You can go to my website, DivineSparkMinistries.com, and schedule your free 10-minute clarity call. It won't answer everything, but it can at least point you in the right direction of what the next step should be on what area that you're struggling with. Also, another good person to contact is Goldilocks Productions. That's uh, Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman. She's the one that's producing this show right now. If you would contact yeah. Tiffany, she can tell you. Tiffany, can anyone out there listening, if you contact Tiffany, she can help you maybe uh, learn how you can create your own radio show, how you can do your own marketing, how you can do your own store. So she's a great resource to reach out to, and she's very uh, economical and fair, very helpful. So thank you for calling, Carolyn. Back to you, Shelley. Thank you for the information, both of you. Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn. I'll see you uh, Saturday. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, Carolyn. Well, now I'm now going to continue my interview with Jeremy Ryden, and then we're going to take our next caller, which is area code 347. Um, uh, um, you teach the spiritual, you teach that spirit speaks the language of symbolism. What is the language of symbolism, Jeremy? Great. I was kind of hitting on this a uh, few uh, minutes ago is that spirit speaks symbolically. So what I'm trying to tell people is if you just, you know, if you got a question on what a symbol means, just Google it. You know, Google, what does it mean to see, you know, a bird fly in your house? Or what does it mean if I'm dreaming that I'm naked all the time at school? Just begin. There's a lot of people that have already done the hard work of, of, of helping you undecipher what these symbols mean. A lot of these symbols come way back in the beginning of time and all the myths. Every myth that you read, whether it's Hebrew, Jewish, whether it's Greek, whether it's Roman, the myths are stories that tell us truths about ourselves. So even the symbol in your own life asks, what does this feeling mean to me? What is this feeling? You know, besides symbolism, spirit speaks by feeling. So what I'm, why am I feeling down? Why am I feeling sad? What is this sadness trying to say to me about my life? Is it saying maybe I'm not being active enough, therefore I'm feeling lonely and I need to get out? So instead of just associating with the feeling, like saying I'm a sad person, no, you're not a sad person. You're just feeling sad. Let's find out why you're feeling sad and do something about it. So spirit speaks through feelings. And spirit speaks through symbols. And take the time to see what the symbols mean to you. What do you feel about a certain? So, uh, you know, I could look at a heart, and it means something to me. But you could look at the picture of a heart, and it means something different to you. So learn to begin to realize what does symbols mean for me personally. Spirit will speak to you on your level. Spirit, you're not going to confuse spirit. Spirit knows how you think. So it will reach to you on a level of your own thinking. Now, it won't leave you at that level. It will bring you up to a higher thinking, but it knows how you decipher things. So trust your own intuition. Trust your own uh, uh, meaning that you give certain things, and spirit won't show you something unless it knows that that's what it meant for you to see. All right, Shelly, who's our next caller? Um, Erica 347. Hello, 347. Hi. Thank you for taking my call. And who nice is this voice. Lady? Hi, this is Keisha. Keisha? Hi, yes. Keisha. Hi. And, and what's Keisha, your question today, sweetheart? Um, my question is, um, I'm looking for a job, and I have been for a while, and I'm just wondering if I'm going to get something soon and um or maybe how am I going to get the job or when I'm going to get the job. And it's gonna... how, how old are you? How old are you right now? 42. 42? Mm-hmm. And, and what's your month and day of birth? Uh, 1226. 1226. I'll take a look and see what the destiny card says about what's going on around you right now. We'll turn you over to our uh, psychic Shelly. What are you picking up with her in career opportunity? Acacia, mm-hmm. um, I'm feeling something more with uh, the service, a service job, you know, something involving um, helping people. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, because you have a, a good heart, and in your life, you're always helping people. You're the person yeah. that friends and yeah. family come to to help. And I feel yeah. that that's the kind of job that you belong in, that you'll be the happiest, is something involving a service. And there's something that may be coming up at a school. Oh. And this may be a school that is through uh, a church. And they have a school oh. and, you will be doing, and you will be doing something at a school. Because uh, I'm feeling something more in the line of working with children or doing something working with older people. Oh, um, I'm looking for like, well, I don't know. I, I don't know. I would be, I'm looking for more of like a legal job, like paralegal or something like that. Um, I did take the bar exam, but I haven't passed it yet. So I may be studying for it soon. Uh, so that's why I would it's be possible. It's possible this paralegal job that this law firm, because um, I felt something with children. So it could be, if not a school, that this particular law firm is deals with family law. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean I wanna and ask that's maybe why and that's maybe why I'm picking up kids because I, I didn't see corporate law as much as I saw a job in a firm that would deal with family law. Okay. Okay. Well I wanna have kids. Maybe they're my kids. <laughs> yeah, I feel that you will have kids. It feels like maybe within one or two years um, that you're going to have a child and you're going to have a son, and it's going to happen in the next one or two years. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, so it looks like it's a law firm that involves children, uh, families. It's not um, a, a big law firm, but it, but it's a very uh, prestige firm, even though it's it's, it's a firm wow. that has it has it's a firm that is going to get larger in the future. Um, okay. That this this that this attorney is a female and a uh, male attorney that you'll be working with. You'll be working with two attorneys, and they've had a lot of good success as lawyers. Okay. So they're starting to get more work. And I feel by the end of the year, they're going to get a bigger office. But right now, they're in a small office. And you would be handling things, doing the work for two attorneys. Okay. And and this feels like that it is coming up uh, possibly around May, June, that you're going to get a job. There's also going to be family and marriage in your future. Well, I want it. I want to meet a man. I want. I want to. I'm ready for a serious relationship, and I'm ready to receive love. Um, I do feel that, um, you know, that you will be meeting someone right around May, June. Uh huh. Um, he's someone that's divorced, that has a son from a previous, you know, a previous marriage. Okay. But it doesn't look like it's a, a small child. It looks like the child's like maybe a teenager. Okay. <laughs> and I feel you're going to meet him around um, May, June, and that you're going to get into a relationship, and then within a year or two, you will have a, a, a baby. Well, that is beautiful because um, I've been through hell. <laughs> so, like the last couple of years, especially the last five years, like I kind of just like was in law school and studying for this bar and I kind of just abandoned myself and happiness and joy and I'm kind of trying to get back into life again and come outside and date and stuff like that. Um, I feel that, um, you know, you are going to meet this man, it may be for the internet. And I think that you should look for a site that deals with professionals. Oh, I never thought about online dating. I never. I mean, no, I have, but people look so weird. I just. <laughs> I think if you, if you if you find that if you find a if you do a search for uh, dating websites for, for for professional business people, that okay. um, you would meet different. a better you would meet a better quality of people. 
I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I'm open to it. I'm open. I'm open to meeting people every kind of way. So I, I definitely will try that. And I do feel that you are going to, you know, pass your bar exam. Really? And Thank you. I'm so thinking, I don't know, I'm going to use this technique because I haven't decided if I'm going to take it or not, but I may take it in July. I may. I'm thinking about taking it in July. I haven't decided yet. I feel that you're going to take it and that you're going to pass it and that you're going to be an attorney. That's what I want. Thank you. I want that. Thank you. I just got to believe in and myself. Jer- yes, and Jeremy, how can Kasha get in contact with you? Thank you me. can get in contact with me for your free 10-minute reading at DivineSparkMinistries.com. And we okay. just thank you for your call today. I hope you got a lot of good out of that. And I think we have another caller online. Uh, oh, well, we got like wait, Jeff, this, is, this is our last caller. And I, okay. you could get a hold of me. You could get a hold of me at 818-744-5241 or go to PsychicHorizon.com. I'm having a special $30 for 55 minutes. Um, so if you need more information, feel free to call me. And thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you both. Thank you both so much. Hey, You're just welcome. real quick, since I got a, I got a, I got three more minutes. Real quick on you, sweetheart. There's somebody in your life you still got to let go of. Uh, it shows that there's either somebody that uh, you're not connected to or you're, you're either dated in the past that you haven't completely let go of or a friend you haven't let go of. So love is on the way, but you got to let go of some people. Also, three months definitely shows taking the bar exam. I don't see you really getting fully into your power in the, into the law firm until next year, but it does show next year you got the lawyer card as far as being it being the most powerful. So take the thing in July. Wow. Realize it probably won't get more pan out until after next birthday. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so All right. much. Thank hey, you. Bye bye. You have a good day. Bye. Thank you for calling Psychic Thank Horizon. Thank you both. Thank you. You're welcome, and have a good day, dear. Bye-bye. I want to thank Jeremy Ryden for being my guest on the Psychic Horizon Show. Um, Jeremy Ryden is a a regular guest that comes on uh, the second Thursday of the month, so be sure to call in to speak with Jeremy again and take advantage of his special. I want to thank Tiffany White Sage Woman for producing the Psychic Horizon Show And I want to thank all the callers who participated in the Psychic Horizon show. Thank you, Jeremy and Tiffany. Bye-bye. Hello? Thank you. 